Medal of Honor Warfighter, and with Medal of Honor in general, um, we try to set ourselves apart in the, the tone that we take and um, the messages that we, we, we strive to tell, the stories we tell. Um, you know, the, the, the franchise is always focused on the soldier and telling the soldier's story from the soldier's point of view in a very authentic, respectful, and, and honorable way. Um, the game is a historical fiction, but uh, game. When you add in the fact that, that you're being inspired by real people and real places and real events, it's also inspired by real warriors, real events, and, and real places. It's always very difficult to make a very plausible, authentic uh, about individuals that have suck sacrificed, you know, uh, real loss. So we spend a lot of time making sure that we work closely with the community and we spend time with these guys. They're constantly in and out of the studio. Um, we've spent time with over two dozen um, operators from the global special operations community as well as spent time with their families and, and, and really making sure that, that we're doing it uh, with respect. Powerful, powerful engine. Uh, it's a beast of an engine. Uh, we've just been trying to tame it and get the most out of it. We've also spent a lot of time on, on battle log, which is the social network that accompanies um, the technology to make it easier for, for, for gamers, even easier for gamers to connect and communicate and share online. Need for Speed Most Wanted uh, is a very powerful concept for us. As Criterion Games, the developers, we wanted to explore what the concept of being most wanted is. We think that's a very powerful idea and we were excited to make a game based around this concept and understanding what that could mean. Also at Criterion Games we're very passionate about playing with friends so we think that when you play with friends in general in life it's more interesting, it's more competitive. To explain it, as I said, um, this game is all about competing with your friends. It's actually about competing with your friends, it's about competing with other races in the game itself, um, competing with the, the cops, so everything is about that competition but specifically about your friends and the way that you'll be able to compete with them. We have a system called Autolog 2, um, and basically what Autolog 2 does, our innovation is about moving you know, both of these games forward in many ways. Um, it combines the amazing physicality that we've got of crashing um, and the real impact that you feel when you play the game. Easy Drive system, and you know, our, our other philosophy is that we want people playing the game. We don't want them in a menu system trying to work out what to do. So we built the menu into the game itself. It's called Easy Drive. People should be able to get to the fun as fast as possible, as I said. So one of the other innovations is if you can find a car, you can drive it straight away.